Hey guys, welcome back for another Razer Chroma Profiles tutorial video. This video is going to be in response to a comment I received on a previous video. And I'm gonna start doing this a lot more often, so make sure you guys leave your comments. So the comment comes from a user named Migs, and Migs says, my setup theme is a Deadpool theme. It would be nice to have my keyboard Deadpool theme. And then in another comment, he actually said, can you do a Deadpool effect tutorial, please? So with this keyboard lighting design, I decided to make it look similar to Deadpool's mask. So you got a lot of red with, with a little bit of black that are, is kind of in the shape of his mask. In the video, I'm gonna show you guys how to do a horizontal ripple, as well as add some audio meter to the effect to, to make this thing pop a little bit. Before we get started on the video, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe and bell icon. That way you guys don't miss out on future Razer keyboard lighting tutorial videos. Also, if you have something in mind that you guys wanna see on a keyboard, please leave a comment in the comment section below of this video. Tell me what you guys would like to see on a Razer keyboard. So we're gonna get right into this, Migs. This one's for you, buddy. All right guys, so to create this design, we are going to start with a blank slate. And to do that, we're gonna make sure that we're in our studio tab up here at the top. And we're gonna click on this drop down, or these three dots right here. And we're gonna click add. This is gonna give us a brand new blank slate profile. And they always come with just a spectrum cycling um, layer on it. We're gonna add a wave layer down here at the bottom. And we're gonna click on the spectrum cycling layer and then hit this trash can. That'll take care of the spectrum cycling layer. And now we have an actual blank slate on our keyboard. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna focus on the keyboard first, the keyboard by itself. So I'm gonna hold my control key and I'm just gonna scroll wheel in so that I'm right on my keyboard. Now that we're focusing on the keyboard, I'm going to select all of the keys on there and I'm gonna click on my color drop down here on the upper right and I'm gonna choose a three tone pattern right here. So it'll be this black and green one and it's a three node pattern. So you got uh, three of these nodes. And on the left, I'm gonna choose red. I'm in the middle, I'm gonna choose red. And on the right, I'm gonna choose red. And then I'm just gonna go back to my center node here and I'm going to drag it on this uh, brightness scale here. And I'm just gonna drag it till it's darker somewhere in here, just like that. Now I'm gonna click off of this little color window here and I'm gonna choose my split option. So that makes it kind of divide from the middle like you see there. So that's all I'm gonna do with this layer. That looks good and I'm gonna hit save. Now I'm going to add a new wave layer over here. On the bottom le left, I'm gonna click wave. And with this new wave layer up here at the top, I'm gonna make sure I have that one selected. And I'm gonna hold my control key and I'm just gonna start selecting out the shape of my eye. So like uh, Deadpool's eye, his black eye. Um, portion of his mask. I'm gonna end up with something like this. So I have these keys selected and these keys over here on the left. So with these keys selected, I'm gonna click on my color drop down, and I'm going to choose this five node pattern right here. It's got the green and yellow. And with this pattern, I'm going to keep the black right where it is, but the second and fourth nodes, I'm going to change to a gray color. So on my color chart here, I'm gonna just click on there and drag it towards the bottom where the white is. And I'm just gonna drag my brightness down until I get a good gray. So this gray color looks pretty good to me. I'm gonna copy the hex code and I'm gonna paste that in my fourth node. So now the eyes look just like this. I'm gonna click off of that. I'm gonna choose my split option once again and this time I'm going to change my angle over to 270 degrees. And what this does is it separates itself from the red because the red splits from the center of the keyboard out. The gray part actually goes from the outside of the keyboard in. And you can do that just by changing the angle 180 degrees. So this looks good right now. I'm gonna hit save. And it's actually a little bit too fast. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click on the eye portion to select all of my eye keys. And I'm going to change my speed down to about eight and hit save. 
Now I'm gonna go back into my first wave layer. I'm just gonna change the name of this to red. And my second wave layer, I'm gonna change to black. So I have a black wave layer and I have a red wave layer. And in my red wave layer, I'm going to select my keys, one of the green lit keys that I have an effect on and hold control and hit C. And I'm just going to paste that over all of my lighting options on my keyboard for my um, Razer Huntsman Elite. So it'll be the side lighting as well. And I'm gonna control V to paste that on there. I just wanna get the red on all my keyboard options. So we've already made up the majority of our keyboard lighting design and now I'm gonna add the ripple effect. So we're gonna click on the ripple layer to add that. And what I'm gonna do first is I'm just going to select all of my keys and I'm gonna change my playback from on press to on selected keys because I only want my keyboard to ripple when I press my keyboard keys. I don't want my mouse to ripple the other keys. So with that done, we are going to change the color of our ripple to a single color ripple here. And I'm just gonna choose a black ripple. So to get a black ripple effect on your keyboard, you want to use a hex code that is all zeros, but a one at the end. So you got zero, 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 zero with a one. So this will basically be black, but technically it's a really dark shade of blue. And we're gonna hit save on that. So now you can see, right now I just have a regular black ripple effect on my keyboard. And we're gonna put this in horizontal rows. And the way we do this is we're gonna leave this top line alone. We're just gonna leave that as it is. And I'm gonna choose this second row here. I'm gonna click on my color drop down, And I'm actually going to change this hex code from a one being at the end to now I'm gonna put a one in the second digit. So this is just a really, really dark red. So you got 010000 for a hex code. And we're gonna hit save. And we're gonna move to the third row. We're gonna select that third row. Same thing here, we're gonna click on this node and we're gonna change our hex code from 010000 to, now we're going to put the one in the fourth digit. So this is just a very, very dark green. And we're gonna click off of that color and hit save. So these first three rows are technically different colors, but they look almost identical. They look just like black. And now I'm going to go to the fourth row and do the same thing. Color drop down, click on my node. Now this time I've, I've run out of my single one digit uses. So now we have to make a hex code that has two ones in it. And we're going to make a one at the very end and we're gonna have a one as the second digit. So this is like a magenta, a really, really dark magenta color. I'm gonna move on to my fourth row. Same thing, click the color drop down, click on your node and we're gonna leave that one in there once again and I'm gonna change the, the fourth digit to a one. So this is a very dark cyan color. Last row, we're gonna click the color drop down and we're gonna change our hex code with the fourth digit being a one and the second digit being a one. And we're gonna change the last digit to a zero. So this is a really, really dark yellow. And we're gonna hit save. So now each horizontal line on our keyboard is a different color technically. So when you touch one of the keys, that row will light up. Because we changed our playback to on selected keys, these ripple effects are only going to go into effect when these keys are pressed and it only affects just these keys. So each horizontal row is unique, but they each are going to be a black color. And lastly, for this profile, we're going to add an audio meter. And with this audio meter, I'm just going to hold control and I'm going to select out the shapes of my eyes just like this. I'm gonna click on my color drop down. I'm gonna choose just a uh, two node pattern here. And the first node I'm gonna make invisible. 
And the last node, I'm going to make a really bright white. So six Fs as a hex code. Okay, and we're gonna click off of that. I'm gonna check my auto boost and I'm gonna turn my decay way down. I like it to disappear really fast. And I'm gonna hit save. So actually after looking at my audio meter for a little bit, I'm actually going to reduce the zones that I'm using for the eyes and I'm only going to use this key and this key. These are the only keys I'm using, but it's going to have the same settings that I had just a minute ago. These are the same keys. I just selected everything else and deleted them. I just think that looks a lot better. I think it looks a little more like Deadpool. And I'm also going to add a meter over here on the right. So to do this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold control and I'm gonna select all these key lighting options on the right. And I'm going to click on my drop down, and I'm going to make this a two node color pattern, just like this. And this first node, I'm gonna slide all the way over here on the right, and I'm gonna make it an invisible node. And this last node here, I'm going to slide in just like this. And I'm actually gonna move this over a little bit more, just like this, and I'm gonna make this one white. So six Fs is a hex code just like that. So you got the little right side of your color meter is going to be white. I'm gonna click off of that. I'm gonna choose my auto boost properties and I'm gonna decay all the way down and I'm gonna hit save. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select all of these keys over here on the right and I'm gonna hold control and I'm gonna deselect this top row right here. And I'm gonna click on my color drop down and just slide these over a little bit just like that. I'm gonna deselect the next keys, click on my color drop down, slide them over a little bit. Deselect the next one, color drop down, slide it over. Deselect this one, color drop down, slide it over. So you see a theme here. And we're just gonna do this all the way till we get to the bottom. And this last row here, I'm just going to slide this pretty close to the end, just like this, and hit save. So now what this creates is a, a changing ranged meter on the right side of your keyboard, as well as lights up the eyeballs. So now I'm gonna play the music and you guys will see what this looks like. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that like and subscribe if you haven't. And as always, tell me in the comment section what you guys wanna see on a Razer keyboard. I'd like to know your guys' thoughts. I'd like to know what you want so that I can make a video and get it on your keyboard. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.